Veterinary Hospital. Sponsored by Meow Mips. Tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. We now join Chief of Staff Dr. Monroe Nickeldime and his son MJ having a chat at the family estate. Well, son, it's a lovely day we're having. Lionel and Lorenzo are set to be married to you. It's supposed to be the wedding of a century. But didn't Lionel attack Lorenzo at a disco a few weeks ago before? Okay, yeah, sure. Wedding of a century. Okay. They're set to get married on November 12th, a couple of months before the anniversary celebration of Veterinary Hospital on April 1st. But something tells me that celebration won't be done too well. They've been disappointing me for a while now. I agree with you, Father. These past few years have been terrible. There's too many people on staff at Veterinary Hospital. But anyways, Father, I did want to tell you that I, I got a new job at Bostic Enterprises as an errand boy. And I'm making $2 an hour. My God, son, that's terrific! Yep, with that hourly wage, I'm gonna be rich. It's the 60s, so back then that was a lot of money. And at least you won't be like your brother Jackson. Ever since his brain injury, he's been working for that thug, that gangster, Salvatore Fettuccini. But father... Salvatore is not a gangster. He's a pasta importer. The whole town knows that. Come on. Or so he wants everyone to believe. My father can never know the truth. That this job is Bostic Enterprise is just a front. And that I'm really working for Salvatore Fettuccini. And I don't ever want Jackson coming back to this house. I know it's tough for a father to say that about his son. But this is my house after all. My father Alistair gave it to me. To me. Yes, Father, we know. You never cease to remind us. And <laughs> don't you forget it. Anyways, I'm off to veterinary hospital. Goes to my beloved patient, Mrs. Meow Meow. Oh, great, Father. I know she'll be excited to see you. Oh, son, I don't think she'll be delighted to see me. Not after what I have to tell her. We will learn more about this in just a moment. Hello, Mrs. Meow Meow, it's me. Veterinary Hospital Chief of Staff, Dr. Monroe Nicoltine. I have here with me your test results, and I'm afraid it's not good news. Apparently, you've been diagnosed with a disease that we just made up a few minutes ago. It's called catsophrenia. Now, we don't know what it is exactly, and there's no cure for it, unfortunately. And to make things even more dramatic, you could die within 24 hours of getting it. And to make things even worse, because today's episode is a Friday cliffhanger, we won't know till Monday if you survived or not. I'm so sorry. This has been Veterinary Hospital. What will happen tomorrow, dear viewers? Will MJ Nickeldime reveal to his father that he's truly working for Salvatore Fettuccini? Will Dr. Nickeldime find a cure in time for Mrs. Meow Meow? Tune in tomorrow on Veterinary Hospital. Up next, Victor the Cat discovers that he has four other personalities that go by the name of Nicholas, Prince, Tom, and Jerry. Will the rest of Purview, Pennsylvania discover his secret? Find out up next on Nine Lives to Live on most of these stations.